Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Barry and Jackson and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Jackson's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands. The correction and the motivations that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Barry's using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that he needs to give and the correction is a tug and let go on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll be introduced to that and taught how to use it correctly during your lesson. Now Jackson's sitting very nicely at Barry's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for us is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Jackson heal. Jackson, heal. At this point, Jackson's job is to walk along nicely at your left, matching pace with you, not forging ahead, not lunging. You shouldn't look like you're skiing when you're walking your dog. If you change direction, he should change direction, and when you stop, he should sit automatically to wait for his next command. So when you're walking down the street with your pet, and you stop to cross traffic, or you stop to talk to a neighbor, he should be sitting nicely at your left and waiting for his next command. And this makes walking your large dog a pleasure. The next exercise that Barry's going to demonstrate is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it's a one-word command. This is an exercise that you should practice indoors as well as outdoors. It helps to develop their attention span and maturity. When Barry returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him as an additional distraction, and Jackson should remain seated until he's praised and given another command. And then they're going to set up for the heel, sit, and stay again. Barry talks to him to keep him focused on him. He's motivating him, talking to him, keeping him focused. He leaves okay. him in a stay. Your long sit stays when you're practicing at home are for one minute, working up to three minutes. And again, remember to practice indoors as well as outdoors. This time, instead of returning back to the dog, Barry's going to call him. The command is Jackson come, and he should come in and sit right in front of Barry, facing his knees. That stops all that jumping on you, getting overly excited, nipping at faces. He's really doing a great job. And he wasn't easy. He's, he's got a lot of muscle he can put behind it when he doesn't want to do something. Barry will leave him in another sit-stay and demonstrate that recall exercise again for you. Remember, it's the dog's name and come, and it should always, you should lighten your tone and talk him in. It should always be a happy exercise. And then he goes back to heel because you always want your dog to want to come to you. And then he has him sit. Now we're going to set up for your down commands, and there are two of them. The first one is the down from a heel position. So with the dog in the position that he was in when we started this video, sitting with his shoulders next to your left leg, Barry's going to use the open yeah. flat of his palms straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down. Then he leaves him in a stay. This is a great exercise to practice in the house while you're watching TV or eating dinner. Your long down stays, you really are valuable. When Barry returns back to him, he will return all the way back around him as he did on the sit stay for an additional distraction and Jackson should remain lying down until he gets praised and gets another command. And we're going to demonstrate that down from a heel position again for you. He has really come a long way. And if you notice Barry's left arm, if the dog's not right where he's supposed to be, it's just a little tug. You can barely see it. He's going to drop him into a down. Perfect. And he leaves him in a stay. Always remember to tell the dog what you're going to do. And please try to incorporate all these exercises into your everyday living situations with him. This time, instead of returning back to him, Barry will call him in. Jackson, come. Oh, 
comes right in and sits and then he returns back to heel. Good job. Now we're going to set up for our down from a distance and that's probably the hardest command because you're not next to the dog to enforce it. Always have your dog seated before you attempt to put him into a down. Barry leaves him in a sit stay. This time he's going to use the right hand to give the command and drop him into a down. Perfect. Now we've demonstrated for you his heel, his automatic sit, his stay, his down, his down from a distance, and his come. These are the exercises that we want you to practice with Jackson when you get him home. We will answer any other questions that you have about his behavior when you come for your lesson, and we are available to you seven days a week once you get him home if you have any questions. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.